I first experienced problems with my heart when I was 65 years old, that's 17 years ago. I became quite ill and my wife took me to the hospital and they finally got around to checking my heart and they found that I had had a severe heart attack and did quite a bit of damage to my heart. Uh, I had uh, uh, triple bypass. Uh, I had uh, two cardiac arrests that I survived. And I did recover from that. It took about 90 days. And I went back to work and I was living uh, my normal life, traveling and meeting clients and doing things like that. I started to have uh, some pains in my back. And I returned to um, my uh, home and I went to uh, the clinic and uh, uh, they did some tests on me and found I had had a second heart attack. Uh, and uh, I recovered from that, but I developed a, a serious congestive heart failure. I found it difficult uh, at times uh, to walk uh, distances or to do things that required a lot of energy, like walking up a flight of stairs. I think I was in the hospital in the next two and a half years over 20 times. One of the major problems in the United States today is a problem that we call coronary artery disease, or blockages in those arteries. Patients with blockages in their arteries, it's a process that really begins early on in life, and as it progresses, the main risk is to have a heart attack. When you have a heart attack, this leads to damage to your heart muscle. Patients with ischemic cardiomyopathies are, in most cases, the result of having a heart attack or several heart attacks or threatened heart attacks such that over time the damage to the heart muscle really uh, prevents adequate blood supply to the body. Current treatments for congestive heart failure or cardiomyopathies include medications. Many patients then need a second stepper when you need it and we use devices or combination of pacemakers and ICDs. Class 3 and class 4 patients have significant limitations in their activity. This is a stage of the disease where you're really able to only walk one or two blocks. You might have swelling in your feet frequently. Um, patients are admitted to the hospital more frequently. It's really a point where your quality of life becomes significantly affected. At this point in the disease, really your alternatives are limited. And one of the key at this point is, are you a candidate for heart transplant or left ventricular assist devices? This is a more drastic stage of, your, uh, of the disease. And unfortunately, currently, heart transplantation, although effective when it's late, the number of hearts are limited. So theoretically, it would be wonderful if we had another treatment for patients with class three and class four heart failure. In particular, one that could reverse or prevent progression of the disease. Exmylocell is an uh, unusual product in that what we do is we actually do a bone marrow, we take out the body's natural stem cells themselves, and we then send it to AstroBioSense where they use special processes to enhance the product. So during the enhancement process, we increase the number of cells which are known to be more effective into improving outcomes. The advantages of autologous cells, or cells that come from your own body, is that there's really no possibility of rejection. The first phase of the trial will show promising initial results, and that led the groundwork to a large, now double-blind, placebo-controlled trial where we will treat people with dilated ischemic cardiomyopathies with X-mile cell versus placebo. If we're able to make improvements in these patients who have class 3 and class 4 heart failure, we can actually decrease the number of patients that are, need a heart transplant or need a left ventricular assist device. And our goal is to, uh, again, not only prevent progression of the disease, but to actually make people feel better. In five to ten years from now, this should really be where we're at. I'm really hopeful that the studies that are underway uh, will prove to be effective and that the FDA will approve them and that uh, they'll be available to the hundreds of thousands of people that have some of the same problems that I had. I'm very fortunate. I'm very fortunate that I, I met Dr. Henry. I'm very fortunate that I, I, they called me and offered me the opportunity to get into the Astrum program.